In this step, we're going to take all the different pieces of the table and then we're going to put them into a group. In Maya, groups are ridiculously useful because it means that we can take a number of pieces of separate geometry and then work with them as if they were one single unit. So we can take all the pieces of the table and then we'll be able to move, scale and rotate it as if it's just one piece. But we're not actually combining the geometry together to be one piece, which means that we can still work with individual pieces, which is going to come in handy later for putting the textures on. In order to put this into a group, the first thing we need to do is select all of the pieces. And I'm going to do that with a marquee selection. So just drag a marquee around there. And we can see that that's now selected all of my different pieces of geometry that make up the table. Brilliant. To put them into a group, the command for that is in the edit menu and you can see it's just here called group. But what us pros usually do is just hit control and G. But because it's our first time, we'll get it from the menu. So let's give that a click. There we go. And we can see that that is now in a group and it's called group one. I'm going to call it table group. Like so. And what's really good about this is if I now put my move tool on, you can see that I can move all parts of the table as one piece, which is good. I can also rotate them all, and they all rotate as if the table is one piece. And again, I can scale, and that works again all as one piece. The one last thing that I do want to show you before we move on is if we go to the outliner, which we can get by going to Windows and Outliner, and it'll just pop it on the left-hand side of the screen. All the other pieces of geometry in the scene are just separate entities in the outliner. But the table now belongs to this group. So at any point, I can just click on this table group here, and it will select the whole group. And you can see that if I just expand that, it's created a little bit of a hierarchy, all the separate pieces are within that group, which makes it really easy to work with. There is just one other trick that I want to make you aware of while we're looking at the hierarchy. If I click on any piece of the geometry that makes up the table, you can see that it shows it selected here, and then press up on my keyboard, that moves up one level in my hierarchy, which actually will select the whole group. So if at any point I want to select the whole table, but I don't want to open my outliner, I can click on any piece of it, press up, and then do whatever it is that I want to do. Okay, we're all grouped, but I don't like the position of the pivot which is where it is scaled and rotated from. So in the next step, we'll have a look at how we go about moving that to a more favorable position. So I will see you there for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.